Here's your Weather Extreme video for this Sunday, February the 14th. Happy Valentine's Day to you. And uh, as uh, Brody said to Quint in Jaws, when I looked at the number of slides I would have this morning, you're going to need a bigger boat. A winter storm is going to affect north and west Alabama over the next 36 to 48 hours. Uh, let's dig in. we got a lot to talk about. Temperatures uh, just after 5 a.m. this morning, uh, below freezing over the Tennessee Valley, northwest Alabama, 26 at Haleville, 28 at Coleman. A little bit of freezing fog across the Tennessee Valley counties this morning. Fog elsewhere across the area as well. Uh, but we're dry across north and central Alabama right now. Some showers over southeastern Alabama. Uh, lots of rain and thunderstorms, North Florida, Southeast Georgia. They could have severe weather today uh, in parts of um, the Florida Panhandle and Southern Georgia. Now, winters, uh, mainly, uh, this is one of the bigger winter storms we've covered in a long time. Uh, winter storm warnings this morning all the way from uh, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, Nebraska, uh, and New Mexico across nearly all the state of Texas and all the state of uh, Oklahoma and Arkansas. Uh, you can see those uh, warnings extending to the east um, across northern Louisiana, much of northern central Mississippi, western Tennessee, and now all of the Tennessee Valley and western counties from the Birmingham County warning area. Now, we do have a winter storm watch that has been posted uh, for five counties in central Alabama, and uh, these uh, winter storm warnings go into effect across the Tennessee Valley tonight at 6 p.m., and they'll last until 6 a.m. Tuesday. Um, the winter storm warning for western Alabama goes into effect at 6 p.m. tonight and will last um, uh, until midnight Monday night. You can see this winter storm watch right here that includes uh, Blunt, Jefferson, Shelby, uh, Bibb, and Perry counties. Uh, that watch goes into effect at 9 a.m. Monday and will last till midnight Monday night. Uh, we'll kind of try to get a, a handle on things here, but the winter storm watch area is sort of a course of least regret in case it does get a little colder or we get some icing toward the end. Mainly expecting a cold rain in this area uh, from Aniana, Blount County, Birmingham, down through Shelby, Bibb and Perry counties. But um, there could be some icing problems at the end. And if it gets any colder uh, than we expect, and trends have been trending toward colder, um, we could have more of an icing problem. We're going to use probabilities uh, to a great degree here tonight uh, or early this morning. It seems like night to me. Um, snow is a problem. Oklahoma, uh, some places may pick up a foot of snow. Snowing in Dallas this morning where they're expecting some, uh, they're right on the two to four inch line. This area right here, four to six inches of snow, uh, then six to um, eight inches of snow across western uh, Kentucky. Uh, you can see some of the snow gets down into Alabama. Snow uh, one to two inches likely in the northwest corner of the state uh, as we get a real wintry mix there. But for the rest of central north of Alabama, unfortunately, no snow. It's going to be in the form of freezing rain and sleet. The, um, we'll deal with three levels of probability here. The chance that you'll get, you know, one one hundredth of an inch of freezing rain, which is not real impactful, but can cause problems on bridges and overpasses. Uh, but, you know, there's a really high probability. These probabilities are you know, 50 to 60 percent for all areas to the northwest of I-59, with much higher probabilities, 80, even 90 percent down here in west central Alabama, parts of Sumter and Greene County, uh, really going to have to watch out. So you're going to see some icing. Um, now, really, things start to get dicey when you get to a tenth of an inch of freezing rain. Uh, that's when bridges and overpasses and roads just become extremely hazardous to impossible and you begin to get accumulations on trees. So you see some power limb, power lines, you know, and, uh, and tree limb damage. Uh, that probability, again, very high over northwestern Alabama. Uh, Marion, Winston, up into Limestone, Lawrence counties, north Alabama. That's where the winter storm warning is in effect. Uh, really high probability that you're going to see a tenth of an inch, uh, you know, with a, with a 60 to 70 percent chance in places like Sumter, Green, Tuscaloosa, Lamar, Pickens, Fayette. Uh, up into uh, into North Alabama, parts of northwestern Coleman, Morgan, Madison counties. Uh, you're going to see travel problems in these areas. Uh, but this 50% delineator is when you really start to worry. So you can see areas just northwest of Birmingham uh, are going to have a likely 
probability of uh, a significant accumulation of freezing rain. And then when you get to 25 uh, hundredths of an inch, a uh, quarter inch of ice, you really start to see problems, major power outages. And you can see the probabilities uh, in the uh, 40 to 50 percent range that we're going to see that. Those probabilities lessen as you get to the east. And so these areas are going to see significant power outages in areas, uh, in spots for sure. So we'll be watching out for that. So let's bring it all together. This is the 50th percentile, which is really where you see likely uh, freezing rain accumulations. How much would you expect? Uh, Gadsden, Birmingham, down through um, you know the winter storm watch area, uh, only expecting one one hundredth to a tenth of an inch. So we shouldn't see significant problems, but we could, uh, and you got to prepare for it just in case. Now, just to the west of uh, you know really along I-59 parts of West Alabama and then to the west of I-59 up through uh, the Huntsville area, uh, you know, one-tenth to a quarter inch, you're going to see some significant issues in this area, especially in terms of travel, uh, some scattered power outages. And then when you get back to the west, you're going to see uh, more than a quarter inch of ice, uh, likely to see more than a quarter of inch of, of an ice uh, storm situation from, you know, parts of Pickens. Sumter Green up uh, into northwest Alabama, and this is what we're really concerned about. And it lessens a little bit when you get them to the shoals, but that's really where they'll start to see some snow mixing in. Uh, could see one to two inches of snow up in the shoals area. Now let's go through this weather story here. Um, you know, this is 6 p.m. tonight. You can see some light uh, rain working its way into western Alabama. We got light freezing rain over uh, much of northern Mississippi. Temperatures should look like this. Uh, at that time, we'll be in the middle and upper 30s, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, uh, even near 40 up in northeast Alabama. But temperatures are going to be below freezing, parts of Marion, Winston, uh, up into the northwestern part of the state. So any precipitation that falls in this area could definitely fall as freezing rain. Now, by midnight, freezing rain has covered, um, or at least a light freezing rain, has covered much of northwest and north Alabama with um, still potentially... Uh, liquid precipitation there just to the south. Temperatures uh, at that time should look like this. 35 in the uh, I-59 corridor, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, 39 up toward Gadsden. You start to get into freezing conditions at Coleman, Huntsville, uh, parts of northwest Alabama, definitely. Hey, uh, Hamilton, Haley will be below freezing. Uh, parts of Lamar uh, County, maybe even uh, Pickens, Sumter counties could be below freezing at that time. So any precipitation could be falling as freezing rain. Now this is 6 a.m. Monday. Most of that first wave of precipitation has moved into Tennessee and Kentucky. Uh, and we can already see the second wave taking shape to the west. Heavy snow, eastern Texas, uh, very heavy freezing rain over central Louisiana. We're going to have big problems moving into the Mississippi Delta. But freezing rain now covering parts of north central Mississippi by this point. This graphic got a little out of line there. Uh, this is 9 a.m. tomorrow. Freezing rain. Uh, much of Mississippi, Jackson, uh, Oxford, Starkville, Columbus, freezing rain. Getting heavier as we go through time. That freezing rain working into northwest Alabama at that point. Just uh, some uh, light rain to the south in the I-59 corridor. Places like Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, uh, Anniston, Gaston could be getting into some light rain during the morning hours. Hopefully those temperatures profile, temperature profiles hold and we see uh, mostly liquid rain uh, through noon, but freezing rain beginning to work its way into northwest Alabama, much of Mississippi in the freezing rain at that point. Temperatures should look like this by that time. 33 at Tuscaloosa, 32 at Demopolis. You can see this area right here concerns us a little bit because it might be a little colder. 30 uh, at Columbus, Mississippi with 20s over the northwestern part of the state, freezing at Huntsville and Coleman. So at that point, we would be expecting freezing rain to be occurring across a good bit of west central and northwest Alabama. Now by 6 p.m., low pressure moving into east Alabama, freezing rain over the northwestern part of the state, snow here in uh, northeastern uh, Mississippi, the temperature profile should look something like this. 31 at Tuscaloosa, 29 at Demopolis. Any precipitation falling in this blue area is going to be falling as freezing rain. Here in Birmingham, it should be a cold rain. Uh, changing over to freezing rain in places like Albertville and Marshall County, uh, Scottsboro and Jackson County uh, at that point. But hopefully we'll still be just in a cold rain, potentially possibly changing over to a little light freezing rain 
uh, after 9 p.m. tomorrow night. This is midnight Monday night. You see most of precipitation is out of here, and then definitely by noon on Tuesday it's out of here with colder conditions on that back side. we got to really talk about those temperatures Monday night. Uh, we'll see Monday night temperatures in the lower 20s across much of the area. That's bitter cold and uh, throwing some wind chills in there. Winds gusting to 18, 20 miles an hour. We're going to see wind chills in the teens near zero uh, up in the northwestern corner of the state. Uh, this is Wednesday night, 6 o'clock. Next uh, system moving in. More uh, wintry precipitation for northern uh, Louisiana, northwestern Mississippi, into Arkansas here in Alabama. We've got uh, some light, uh, light rain moving into the state. Uh, this is uh, 6 a.m. on Thursday, showing a good bit of widespread rain over Alabama. Uh, more wintry precipitation in the west, but we are mostly liquid precipitation here. Uh, the precipitation is out of here by 6 p.m. Thursday. Snow wrapping around back to the north. Some of that, uh, a few flurries could work their way into northwest Alabama as we turn colder. Friday, just uh, clearing and colder. And Saturday in the weekend, and we're not going to worry about voodoo today because we're already up to slide 25 here. Um, it looks like we'll have some showers uh, that following Tuesday and a little better chance of rain by that Friday the 26th but uh, not uh, anything really to worry about at that time, although the 26th system does show some signals for severe weather. These are temperatures off the National Digital Forecast database uh, showing, you know, we don't get out of the 30s today or tomorrow. We certainly don't get out of the 30s on Tuesday, at least especially for areas uh, along and northwest of I-59. You can see 22 Tuesday morning, 24 Wednesday, even colder back to the northwest. Um, but you want to... Um, be prepared for this, folks. This is uh, going to be a significant, uh, significant weather situation for us. Some of James's uh, uh, tips uh, I thought were very appropriate this morning. Prepare if you're in the winter storm area. Uh, make sure your phones, tablets are fully charged. Could lose power. Uh, areas that get ice are going to have uh, you know significant travel problems. If you must travel, have an emergency supply kit. Make sure you've got uh, you know jumper cables. Maybe some sand. Uh, a flashlight, though. Warm clothes, blankets bottled water for sure some snacks make sure your car is full of gas a little cat litter or sand can help you get some traction some road salt maybe to help you melt that ice uh, if you're going to be at home and that's where we want you to be uh, you know make sure that you're prepared for uh, several days without power uh, in any special needs you have from a food standpoint or medication make sure you have those take care of those pets flashlights and radios make sure your freezer and refrigerator are their coldest settings um, you know be careful with generators uh, do not have generators uh, in your in your home or enclosed areas. It's always a problem after a big situation like this. We don't want to have any deaths from that. And, um, you know, make sure that you've got, uh, you know, an alternative source of heat that you can use safely, though. And stay on the blog all day. We'll be uh, updates throughout the day, throughout the night, and, of course, all day tomorrow as um, we keep an eye on this very dangerous winter storm situation for uh, North and West Alabama. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, Valentine's Day 2021. Hope you can stay warm, stay safe, and uh, stay tuned to the blog for the latest weather information throughout this winter storm. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday. I'll be back uh, next Sunday. Scott will be here next Saturday. James will be here, of course, two days all week. be a busy week for us. And uh, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.